Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infraspace. Sorry, that was really distracting. Yes, we're back in the space version of Engitopia. Uh, the game's had a huge update and unfortunately when we come to load, this save is only partially compatible with your game version. This could be an issue. Uh, we can try converting it to the new save type. So let's try that. All right, and there we go. We are in and oh god. Oh god. <laughs> it's so red. Why is it so red? Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> well yeah, my city's in a bit of a shambles. But thankfully, the most important part survived. Right, I am probably going to take a few minutes just to try and fix all these. I think basically what happened, in this new update, they sort of tweaked the size of some of the buildings. So a lot of these are now clashing when they otherwise didn't. And the fact all of our residents are absolutely gasping for a park... I think this gap here, this is where our parks were. So maybe they've changed that completely, have they? Oh, look, the parks now work in an area effect, which makes a lot more sense. Parks are no longer delivered to your door. Oh no, this road is a disaster. <laughs> it looks like, I think they've made all the roads wider. Oh, what a nightmare. Devs, why would you do this to me? Oh, anyway, I'm going to go fix this and then we'll carry on with the video. All right, I'm like an hour in and I haven't made much of a dent. <laughs> oh, kill me, kill me. Anyway, I figured this might be a nice time to introduce my wonderful area for those that may not have seen it before. All right, let's start with, we'll fix this. This is our corkscrew. It's sort of a highway with a railway going around it. Very, very efficient, although you can't really see what's going on because there's so many bloody warning lights. <laughs> Over here is our space depot. This attracts all our new people. So again, just got to just gotta tweak them all so they actually sit on the roads. And we can press play and G wagon G. Oh, wait, they, what? <laughs> G-Wagon's died. It's okay, there's one here. We'll fix him right up. Oh, he, he's dead as well. Aha, but here we go. Here we go. We've got them. G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. So that's how people arrive to our colony. They land in their spacecraft and they drive in their hover jeeps to the nearest crystal maze. All right, so we'll just fix the left nut and then we're all good. Oh, and look at all of these ones. We've literally got G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. I'm just saying G-Wagon every time I see one. I'm not trying to wrap or anything. This is the kidney. Uh, it was a reasonably efficient mining area, but now it's come to a standstill. We've got to try and fix these roads. There we go. Not ideal, but traffic is now moving. Although no mining is taking place. I think the miners got a slight increase in size. All right, there we go. Back in action. So they can all now get out and then they come over here to another traffic jam because our electronics factories, they've all increased in size and that's all fine. Uh, up over here, this was our San Francisco. Oh, it looks like there's an update. So all the buildings are now straight. I think we're going to have to move this edge way over. Oh god, okay. Put new roads in. Move all these other ones over. And after like 20 minutes of this, and we're good to go. A perfect San Francisco. Ignore the gaps. Right, so up here, we're actually all good. We've only got all of those to do. Oh no, habitat downgraded, downgraded. Oh dear. Uh, it appears they have no food. That's because the food things have increased in size, so the road doesn't work. All right, let's pause. If anything, they've actually got smaller. Look, you can overlap up to the blue. So we'll squish these right in together. Okay, we're going to have a very small gap in our farms. Sorry, OCD people, again. But now I press play, all these green trucks, they're now leaving there, and they'll head over to all the hungry inhabitants, uh, of which I need to I need to fix them. So I think if I move that power pole, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I think a lot of these, the power poles have just slightly increased in size. But if you remember from before, we have unlocked the substation. So all we've got to do is get one in about there. And as long as we can connect him up, it should be fine. So we need to use a power pole to connect him. There you go. You can see the power sign disappearing. We do have this one we got to connect as well. So we're getting there. Although you can see all of our habitats are downgraded. These are all decent habitats now. Uh, I think that will be fixed once we've once we've sorted our production chains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so much red. So this up here is what we built last time. It's sort of the very upper tier, the later game sort of areas. And then hopefully as we work our way down, they might fit. Holy crap, Paddy. Frig me, dog. Pad just came in and nudged me and I he'd proper stealth me. You scared the crap out of me, dog. You scared the crap out of me. I'm teaching him how to sneak up on architects. Gonna be an assassination, dog, huh? You're gonna assassinate some architects. Good boy. 
Good boy. Right, that fitted perfectly. It's like I engineered that to work. God, we gotta sort all this out. <laughs> Alright, there we go. They're all flowing again. So this whole chain is now fine. Although, I have noticed all of my stations don't work anymore. Now, I try, I tried disconnecting, reconnecting. We gotta delete them all and put them back in, I think. That's nice and efficient now. Connect up the roads. That's good. Alright, this area, we're actually back to normal. <laughs> Wind turbines, they no longer work on hills, which is a little bit annoying. So we're gonna have to move you down there, but I think that's fine. And again, it all just seems to be power. So I tell you what, I might literally just delete all of these wind turbines and power poles. And we're going to modernize our electricity production. You can put a substation in. If we plonk it in the middle there, you can see the radius. Well, you can see actually it just misses those top mines up. So if I were to move this up to there instead, and then just connect them with power poles, you can now see that's all running perfectly. Is there enough power? Loads of power. I'm producing double than what we need. Right, thankfully, our super efficient train line here is fine. I was very worried the trains might have been made wider or something. But that's all good. We just got to sort some of these mining areas out. Ah, uh, yes, I can see the problem here. So the trucks, they have no they have no headroom to get round. Now, after a few more tweaks that I definitely didn't curse while making, I think we're back to normal. So as we found out earlier, we need to get some parks on the go. If we click on this, this nice habitat it has everything except for parks. Is this guy new as well? I don't remember you. I'm not sure I trust this guy. Anyway, we need to come down to here and then we need to build a park. 180 concrete. And as you saw earlier, these work in an area effect, uh, which is very, very annoying, actually. I think we're going to have to delete a few crystal mazes and plop it in there. So that's those guys sorted. We need another one about there somewhere. So we'll delete these and we'll see. We just don't have the space and we'll rage again. <laughs> oh, we could get away with just one in the middle, though. Oh, and look at all the upgrading. Everyone's upgrading. And let's see, does that fit in there? Nice. All right, sorted. Everyone's upgrading back to level four, which is where we were at before. These guys, they need some iron. So where is the iron? Ah, oh, yes, the iron is... Yes, it's back. It's back, which means these guys should get their iron soon, which means no more warning lights anywhere. But what are these ones? All right, so this is literally where we left off last time. We're trying to create yellow science. Now, they're saying they're after some blueies and some motors. And that's what we built over this way. The neural processor factory. And the reason they're not being produced is there's no workers in building. God damn. So currently our immigration rate is low. That's because our average habitat level is lower than the required one. I forgot to build a train station here. And what I have noticed as well, look, can you see there's three different types of rails? You got normal rail, we then have a high speed rail and a lightning rail. So we may have to try some of those out. Meanwhile, lots of habitats are upgraded to level four. So has that raised our immigration rate? Yes. Immigration rate is now moderate. Look at all the G-Wagons. So many G-Wagons. So they're all new people coming in. You can see bottom left. The number of jobs on our planet is 3,532. The number of housing is 3,300-ish. Uh, so they're pretty similar, but we've only got 1,800 people. That is rising rapidly, though. But that is a constant supply of people now. So that's fantastic. Which hopefully means people might take a job in these four buildings. Yes, we've got one out of four people. Oh, he just quit. He just quit on us. <laughs> i tell you what, maybe we could do some advertising. As they look down at the colony they're about to join, they're met with the advertising board. Work at the neural processing plant. Don't just take my word for it. Best job ever, says Steve. It's great, says Dave. G-Wagon, 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 says me. <laughs> oh, and it seems to have worked. Look how many people are joining. So many G-Wagons. Okay, this is good. This is good. The numbers are all moving in the right direction. Has our advertising worked? Yes, we've got a worker in there. We've got a worker. We're producing blue stuff, which hopefully means when we get into our research, we can finally afford the super highways, but also it'll allow us to get the high speed rail as well. Oh, but the lightning rails, they're so far off. We need red, we need red science for that. So that's going to take a while. We're not even a city yet. We're just a large town. We're going to have to be a city and then the planetary capital before we can install lightning rails. No, but at least super highways will be unlocked. I feel like that's the key to expanding. So yes, yeah, so I'll just click the train, and as it goes through the corkscrew, look what's on board. 12 neural processors, the advertising worked. So hopefully, as it pulls into this station, we should see coming out of here a load of different trucks 
And one should be carrying neural processors. Yes, yes, here they are, here they are. We should see they've come from the train station along this road. So if they turn down, then they should go into the yellow. Yes, yes, we're making yellow science. I've just noticed this as well. We can actually stack up what we're going to research next. So I've stacked them all up. We should research everything now. That is research done. We just need to wait for enough blueies to come over. And the trouble is, they need four blueies and they take 120 seconds. And over here, it takes us 90 seconds to produce one. But we do have four. So basically, we can only fuel one of these research centers. But that doesn't even take into account like travel time. So probably not the most efficient way of doing this. But we'll see what happens. And you can see now they've got the resources to make the yellow science pack. And this bar here, 114% efficiency. Once that's full up, we'll have have a yellow science so if you keep an eye on this one in the middle you should see a yellow science pack come out there he is so as he's driving along here we can we can see where he's going to end up it's the research facility i think this is our first yellow science very very exciting so as he pulls into there we should be able to go up to our research and we can see super highways is now one out of 120 all right so the rate at which these are going up is like one every two or three minutes maybe longer and as we need 120 that could take quite a while that's definitely a few hours and the trouble is i did the maths and this was the most efficient way to just make four so all of these buildings including all the miners and stuff that are back here so all those mines all of that just to make one yellow science pack uh like five minutes <laughs> However, if you look at these, they are they are only 50% efficient. You've got space for two more workers. So hopefully if we just keep attracting more people, we keep advertising the neural processing plant job, perhaps we could add some more quotes and then we'll be able to make our science a lot quicker. Oh, something I completely forgot to check. I forgot to introduce at the start of the video, one of the most important parts of my city. Does it still work? Yes, we've still got the Trucknado. Trucknado! Right, but you know what? I actually I quite like that these are all upright buildings now. They can look out the window and they can see the architect suck sign way in the distance. For now, I need to let this run and collect that yellow science. Right, so I've left this running a little bit. Check out all my houses. They're nearly all tier fours. There's only a few little piddly ones down here, but look, they're getting upgraded. And even better, if we head over here, check out the neural processor jobs. Four out of four, four out of four, four out of four, and four out of four. We're maxed out on the neural processors. And do you know why? Because we had a lot more reviews. A lot more lovely reviews. So yeah, things are actually going fantastically. Like if you look down down here, look at our population. 3,100. It's getting there. It's, it's a lot better. We have space for 3,600, but we've only got 3,500 jobs. So finally, we have enough accommodation to do all of our jobs, which means we can expand once again. So I've got a couple of choices. Choice one, we can try and research faster, which means getting more of these blue things, which essentially means copying everything you can see on screen again which honestly it sounds like quite a bit of effort unless it includes copying that although having a look in the tech tree maybe i should be researching this industrial robots supply your factories with industrial robots to cut down the amount of workers required where was that an hour ago anyway anyway we're going to be doing enough research i think whilst we build other things because the next step will be upgrading these again we're going to need a good mill a home robot and culture so let's see what some of those things involve so to get a good meal we need to use this a meal factory and that takes one green leaf and one blob of red aha and it's a blob of meat so we need a meat lab to get a blob of meat so that makes sense to get the green leaf we need this a vegetable farm and that turns one green leaf into two green leaves and the original green leaves are this a fertilizer factory which takes is that sand or is that sulfur it's the same symbol as that and that is sulfur okay so shall we start off making a food farm area thing so i note there is a fair bit of sulfur over here and then it takes them equally okay so pretty much we're just doing one one and one and if it takes 10 seconds and looking at the large sulfur mine that's 1.2 seconds so basically one mine will do eight 
Yeah, one mine will do eight buildings, roughly. So, going around that, I don't think I want too many of these. Let's just start with two, and that would be 16 of all the buildings, I think. All right, so to start off, we have that. We need eight of these fertilizer factories down one side. Next up, we need these vegetable farms. So that takes one of those and turns it to two of those. If we're making six... Dean. We need a few. That you blind me. They're quite they're quite large, these. What's actually going on in there? It's like it's sort of like a huge field. A circular field with sprinklers. Solar powered sprinklers. And I think we want 10 of these, if my maths is right. And then next up, meat labs. So I think we'll do 10 of these as well. And then finally, the meat factory, which turns both of those into the good food. All right, and then we just need a way to power these. So I think we'll just plonk some solar panels down. All right, so the sulfur is being mined by these huge machines. It looks like they're spraying it everywhere, but they're not. They're actually ending up in these hover trucks. And then they're going to these farm sort of buildings where they're turned into fertilizer. And then the green trucks are the fertilizer trucks so they come along here and then they enter these which are vegetable farms and that will grow us some veggies and then they leave in the dark green trucks and they head all the way along the roads past these meat factories which sort of they sort of look like <laughs> looks like a saxophone like all the different buttons going off how random that the silos just individually move up and down beef beef pork then they come to these, the food factories, where they're joined by the red meat trucks as well. And they create a damn good meal. And if we zoom out, we've done it in the shape of a cow to give people something to remember. Yes, that is the shape of a cow, by the way. It's as good as I could get to a cow, okay? Stop laughing. Stop laughing at me. But then we have loads of good meals and we need to transport them over to our buildings. And in particular, our residential buildings. So what's the best way of doing that? We could build a train. Yeah, shall we do that? Just a really simple train line. So when the food leaves the train station, it can go that way. Or it could go down this way as well. Yes, yeah, so that's this arm done. And then I think over this one, we've got the threes coming to there. And then we'll just do like a big old three and three lane going all the way through these. So now the oxygen from here, it's got it's got a new way to go. It can go along here. We may need to traffic like these because uh, there's quite a lot going on for giveaway. Bloody hell, mate. Oh, that was horrible watching that. I literally clenched. And then with the train line, I don't want this to connect to the other rail. So I'm literally just going to come out of here. Oh, I could just do that. I could just do that. There's me doing knobs everywhere. I thought this was the most efficient way to do the loops. Turns out I was mistaken. But yeah, we've got the cow connected up. I mean, it's it's not really a cow. It's, it's more of an elephant. But it's all connected up. So what I've got to do is just do a very simple train line from here to over there. So we'll literally just go straight like that. Uh, but then we've got wind turbines in the way. So... I guess we should dodge these a little bit. You can see where we've got to get to, just over there, but that's not going to work. We've got red lines. So, over to there, that's sorted. And then we just need to do one back the other direction. And there we go, we've got enough steel, so we'll click that, and we're done. So we can just come up to this button, train lines. We can add a train line, and we're going to rename this one the scenic route and then we're gonna add quite a few trains maybe 20 and then you can see the trains are leaving you can also see all these trucks all the good food they're coming around the cow and they are delivering to the train and then after a short scenic route through this <laughs> which was just to dodge the windmills of course we end up here where our good food should hopefully be delivered to the residential buildings. And then when good meal is satisfied, we'll just need home robots and culture. Man, that is, that is beautiful. And I, I feel like, is anyone else seeing that? Strongest shape? Or is it just a dog? I'm not sure, but I promise you that was not intentional if that is the strongest shape. But yeah, but I think for now, guys, we're going to leave it there and we'll try and upgrade our residential buildings next time. But for now, I will say peace, love and snake trains trains everywhere oh i'm not looking forward to the loading this up next time bye